but he was willing to put his money behind something that he knows will burn a lot of people in the future. That's sad. All right, so I don't know if you were here yesterday when I did the live session. You know, whatever yesterday means to your world right now. So, I mean, look look, look here, look here. I don't know if you can see my screen right quick. Uh, that was like uh, the value of my portfolio yesterday was 889, something like that. Let me, actually, I could just check another way here. That would be the last number that I had on here. Uh, let's see here, two, 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 bitcoins and uh, ROI calculator. All right, so that would be the last number that I had on there. Yeah, so the value was 890. Okay, so right now it's at uh, 961, 960. We we'll just call it 960. All right, so 960. So I was down 18% yesterday. Well, we're still down 11%. That's okay, it's going back up, right? But that's the whole key right there, right? So, and uh, you know, the market is coming back up, but you know, I just saw something that was pretty funny you know sometimes when i first came online on the internet back in 2009 when i first brought my business on the internet uh one of the guys that i really looked up to uh <laughs> his name is mike klingler mike klingler so i don't know if you can see that let me see if you can see uh it's probably backwards yeah but mike klingler you know um uh that's klingler is k l i and G L E R, Mike Klingler. And uh, he has a comment that he wrote here. The comment goes At present, I am denied access to my Devor coin account. So we're talking about Devor earlier. Devor, which is the coin, the lending program combined together with cryptocurrency, with no real product behind it that I've heard about yet, outside of just exchange of money, <laughs> right? That's a red flag, by the way. Um, at present, I'm denied access to my Devor coin account, and I have one ninety-eight thousand dollars tied up in there. All my funds. I know, not smart, but that's what I did, knowing it was a high risk. I didn't think so quickly after I'd been denied access. I couldn't exchange more than one hundred Devor, one hundred Dav every few days into Bitcoin, and couldn't send Dav to an external exchange. Red flag. They are controlling the price, red flag, even though I had 1100 DAV in there and growing every day from return on my large lens. When I that's just numbers showing on the screen, right? When I kindly wrote in about if they completely locked me out of logging in, uh, so they may so so they may have just taken my one ninety one thousand dollars, all I got. This guy says all I got. Now, this is a guy that I really, really look up to. It's possible that it's lucky that he still have $198,000 because I know a lot of people that were really hot and popping and making millions of dollars in 2009 that, you know, the market crash, market shift happens to them and, and they're just struggling, you know. All I got, I don't know if that's all he got in portfolio or what that means, but that's very, very sad. That's crazy right there. All I got, my hope is... It is temporary, but regardless, it's nasty to do without at least an email. I will make a new update on this, and I will be encouraging us to unite, have a stronger voice with these lending platforms. Well, good luck to you, but you should also watch your money, and you should, come on, like, I don't want to call this guy stupid, but it's crazy. But here's what happens. When you have money laying around in the bank account that has no work to do, that's the key here, okay? If you have money laying around your bank and that doesn't have a plan towards it, like a plan for the future, something that you plan on using it for, um, you know, the, the I do mind is the, is the playground for the devil. You know, that's all I can say about this. But clearly, it didn't have anything going on. And then when crypto, crypto, I'm looking at this channel, he's been creating some videos on cryptocurrency and stuff, how to buy your first Bitcoin, but... But he was more concerned about building the team. It's nothing wrong with building the team and our affiliate program around uh, cryptocurrency. But it's just a dangerous combination knowing that the SEC and the FTC are paying attention right now. And they're looking for things to shut down, right? Especially combined with lending programs where you're guaranteeing 
crazy amount of returns on people's investments as individuals were in a rather weak position with these lending platforms. Yes, that's why you should avoid them. <laughs> okay, that's why you should absolutely avoid them. One ninety eight thousand dollars. That is crazy, and I think it's stupid, especially for a platform. Because I'm looking at the De- Devor, and I'm looking at their history. They've only been around since. I mean, they don't. There's no chart showing. Well, I mean, I guess they came on the major market uh, market uh, exchanges uh, on. Uh, just a little bit before Christmas. And you can see the whole thing go all the way up to one, a little bit above $160, and then crashed back to, right now it's at $5.58. Not cool. And he's talking about $198,000. That's a lot less now, right now. That's a lot less, you know. And, uh, you know, people are commenting here. This is rather a long clip, sorry. You know, I just... Again, when I put my seven rules together, it was designed to protect people from this kind of scenario. But of course, the Mr. Two knows the people that know way too much. This guy is one of them. Okay, he's a very, very smart guy who has made millions of dollars online. I really hope you get this figured out. Damn, that sucks ba- so bad. It's in the U.S. Do- dollar wallet. Is it in the U.S. dollar wallet? Of course not. It's in DAV. He has it in the market. He's lended. They are lends exactly. Uh, let me let me see. Let, let me let me let me show let me show you right here. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, wow. All right, so they are lends. One is a lend of one sixty one thousand dollars. The other for twenty seven, and the other, another small one. I was taking half back to recoup my investment soon. I was taking half back to recoup my investment soon and putting the other half in staking and letting again, but they cut me off. Man, this is sad, right? And I and I and I have friends who have said things like this. I'm just gonna put my money in, you know. I'm just gonna put a little bit of something in and then let it get some return. I'll leave my investment in there. I hear that all the time. There should be no money you're willing to gamble like that in your portfolio of any type, even with your cash account. There should be none like that, literally, okay? There should be none like that. Wow. Um, Mike, that's a pretty bad situation. You can't log in at all. If you can log in, are you transferring from your lending wallet to your dive wallet first? Up until yesterday, I could log in, but was not allowed to transfer dive out. Yep, of course not, because if you're allowed to, to transfer dive out, that's going to affect the market. That's a whole lot of money you have in there. And from what I saw earlier, they're only uh, about 40 million DAVs. So that means uh, everything moves the coin's value very quick. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Up until yesterday, I could log in, blah, blah, blah. I was only able to... Sorry about that. I was only able to sell about 100 DAVs every few days or would get blocked. When I wrote them about it, it appears I was locked out of account entirely. Boom. Come here, boy. What's going on? You're good? What's that in your mouth? What do you want now? Uh, food? Um, yeah. You want food? It's yeah. too early to want food. Too early. It's 9.04. Huh? It's 9.04. We usually eat at 8. It's Saturday. Go and sleep a little bit more. Bye. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, don't worry. I'll get you something soon, okay? Uh, so he goes, let's see, that's a pretty bad situation. You can't log in at all. If you can log in, are you transferring from your, then you're up until yesterday, I could log in. He's locked out. They're playing with his account. Man, it's crazy. Screenshot. Sure, but of which screen views, the lending tag, something fishy is going on. I really hope you get your account unlocked. I also have well over $100,000 invested, and with DAV price tanking, interest rates tanking, and poor communication from DAV team, I'm a bit worrisome. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, man. So I, 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 feel, I feel for these guys, man. Chris, they've locked me out of my account entirely. Uh, I have $50,000 loan and staking 450 DAV. Uh, I, I've had no issues. Well, 
they get to you. <laughs> Good luck getting the fuck out. Oh my God. Personally, I don't care what happens. My initial ICO investment was six, $670 and I've already pulled out $20,000. Of course, some people are in interest. Some people are going to pull money, okay? The early people will pull money. But the majority of the people are going to be on the back end and will never get their money back. That's the way these things work. Keep us updated. Sounds like they're seizing your account to balance their books. Yep. Are you just use cousin FUD? What's that? Well, that's probably one of those terms with uh, the crypto world. I don't know what that is yet. We could Google it. Let's Google it. Let's see what FUD means. F-U-D. Uh, F-U-D crypto. Let's see what that means. See? That's why Google is good. Uh, uh, F-U-D fact or... Uh, uh, let's see. Where can I find this? Describe spreading of fear. Okay. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Yep. Okay. Is he just spreading F-U-D? Oh, okay. <laughs> see? Uh some people are even doubting this guy. I don't think so because I know him. I've known his brand for since 2009, nine years now. So, no, it's not spreading FUD. I know that. And you can literally click over to his channel here. He has videos on cryptocurrency and stuff like that. So, he's done videos on this stuff and literally he's gotten people into this stuff. Okay. All right. So, he, yeah, he's the one that created a marketing funnel mastery event. That was this event. He had a, like a big event that he was doing. Uh, so this guy, is, is, he should have known what he's doing. It was probably just, like he said, he's taking a risk. He was taking a risk. He knew what he was doing. But, you know, sometimes you take that risk because, you know, you know it's not really a risk. You know, when you take a risk based on 100% emotions, maybe that was the only one he has left. Maybe he had some bad few last years he had a uh, hundred and ninety eight thousand dollars left and he wanted to just see if he can you know pull a million dollars two million dollars so he can get back to business and i always tell people as opposed to doing that go back to a job you know go back to a job find a job or something or, or small time contract that's why i hired medical consulting to what i do because you know business can be tough it really can be tough and sometimes you have to do what you got to do to get back on your feet to make sure that things are going because then you probably have a wife, you have a family, you got to feed your family and things like that. So, um, so yeah, you know, and, uh, and uh, this is a guy that's done millions of dollars online. And then when I see people talk out of their ass or just on theory, uh, I just laugh at them because <laughs> we're very complicated uh, beings, right? Very complicated beings. You can't, you know, uh, if you're on a 9 to 5, it's very easy for you to talk out of your ass on theory. Very, very easy. But when you're running a business, you understand that faith is a big part of what we do. Okay, People that have done it very well, they've made tons of mistakes and they understand the heart and the science of making mistakes. If it was just a science, they, they could just avoid all the mistakes, right? It clearly is not, right? Uh, let's see here. Uh, so it's, this person says, uh, let me read from your screen. Are you causing the fraud? That's uh, fear, uncertainty, and, and uh, what was it again? I forgot what it was. Fear, uncertainty, and uh, uh, and doubt, right? So uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Uh, I think I can close this page right now. Okay. Are you uh, yeah? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Are you causing? I can log in just fine while everyone is getting out while everyone is getting out i'm going to buy some dav when it's low <laughs> the whole market is going down now uh well dav is still going down today as i'm doing this right now while dav is still going down the market is coming back up how about that you know people always find ways to be in denial okay so the market uh today uh since yesterday uh bitcoin just came up five percent okay and Bitcoin Cash just came up 8%. And uh, Ethereum just came up 2.6%. That's always been holding strong anyway. Uh, Litecoin just came up 8% today, okay, in the last 24 hours. And if you're looking at the right numbers, like I always show you to look at, if you stay in, the heart, in, in everything that you see in Coinbase and you use my strategy, uh, Bitcoin has come up 800% so far. And that's all you should be looking at. That should keep you happy if you're using my strategy. Bitcoin Cash 182%, that's a lot. 
uh, Ethereum 8,000, almost 9,000 percent. Litecoin 3,500 percent. All right, so uh, the whole market is not down because the market was flat for a few days. Does not mean it's down. Okay. So this is the mistakes that some of these people they keep telling themselves these things to make themselves feel happy. Okay. So when it's low, the whole market is going down now, but it's coming back up again. Uh, old and, and just wait. So they misspell hold. Let me see what, uh, le le let's see what uh, H-O-D-L means. Let's learn this, this, this lingo together, right? It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> let's learn this lingo, lingo together. F-E-D, FOMO is fear of missing out, right? Uh, okay, a misspelling of hold and stuck around to mean keep. A crypto trader who buys a coin and does not see himself selling. Whoa, what was that? Uh, see himself selling in the foreseeable future is called a hodler of the coin. Oh, okay. So there's no real, there's no real acronym behind it, I guess. All right, let's go back to, let's go back to here. Okay. So um, if I was creating content, which is what I'm doing right now, by the way, on on uh, on cryptocurrency, I would. I would play the game like a professional investor, not a professional trader, two different things, okay? And uh, just like I've shown you, you can go to, uh, you can go to my page, uh, allatalks.com slash bitcoins, okay? Um, let me show you what that looked like, just in case you're wondering, allatalks.com, right? This is my page right here, right? That's me. And you can simply go to uh, slash bitcoins, Okay, this is allatalks.com right there, right? And you just put slash bitcoins at the top of it. This video is getting a little long, but you know, I didn't plan it, but this is very hot stuff. I needed to show you. You put slash bitcoins, it takes you to this page and show you my, 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 my seven rules and why. And if you obey that, you will, you will pretty much be capitalizing on those percentages, okay? But it requires patience. And it requires uh, not engaging in any of this get rich quick stuff, okay? Um, and it requires you to let go of your smartness, okay? Okay, I will, babe. I got it. I will. I will order it. Let me just finish this live session. Uh, uh, this is just a short clip I'm recording. I'll be done in a minute. All right. So uh, let's see here. So. Uh, let's keep looking here. Go look at this video. Okay, so this person is uh, being a preacher right now, all right? Philosoph Philosophicians, right? Uh, hold, right? Well, you're holding on to the wrong vehicle. How about that? That vehicle is going to crash. And guess what happens when you hold on to the wrong vehicle, right? <laughs> Good look at his video. Go look at this video from a day ago. He has around 9,000 dab, and now he is locked out of his account for asking a question. <sighs> That's crazy. My Klingler, I don't understand why you people invest huge amounts of money to these scammy companies. People who created Devil Coin won't even reveal their names. Hey, 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 hey. I've said that. I've said that too. Damn, my guy. That's what I call a kill and a win. Jesus, that's wrong. Track down, for, Ch for Chan, track down Trevor James' location. He's in Model Beach. South Carolina hiding in an hotel. Oh my God. Check out this location. Check out the location here and how they tracked him down. Pretty amazing. Well, let's see what that is, right? This is crazy, man. I don't know why people get themselves involved in all this kind of craziness. Uh, tracking down BitConnect scammer. Trevor, oh my God. Wait. Track him down how? Well, there's no information here. There's nothing. I, I muted the... I muted. ...is big connectors, and you can't convince me otherwise. So I hope this class... Let's see. ...that a class action lawsuit has just been filed against BitConnect and this scumbag along with Crypto Nick. So uh, I went and did a little bit of investigation. I've been seeing him. He's still posting all these Ponzi schemes. He's moved on to, uh, I think, Lang Connect hey. and uh, Davor hey. and some <laughs> other weird new ones. So, uh, because he's means, still actively means, trying well, to hurt people wow. and make them lose money, we decided that we're going to figure out where he's at. So, uh, we started with some loaded posts, right? You can see right here. 
This is a BMW he bought with your money, money he made off of scamming you in this Ponzi scheme. He bought this BMW, right? So I'm looking, and here's a picture of him. Here he is with his BMW. Oh. There's other pictures you can see on all his social media of him, like, counting money in it. You can see the Beamer logo. So, uh, if you look at the Beamer, though, you can see right well, here. Well, it's, it's one of the YouTube kids. What's up, Tony? What do you want? You ready to eat? You want to drink some water? Come here. What's up? You want some water? Yeah. Water for what? To drink? What are you eating? Um, I, um, mommy told me to eat something from the fridge. Okay. I, I'm going to get you, I'm going to order your stuff and give me about five minutes, okay? I'll order your stuff, okay? All right, all right. So that was our first clue. Well, it's you know, um, as I was saying, there's a lot of kids on YouTube. I call them kids because a lot of them are very naive. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know anything about business. They think they can play the game very quick. You know, I don't mind playing a very quick game to make some money. You know, that's why I'm on. That's why I'm crypto in the first place because I do believe from from a fundamental standpoint that it's going to be the greatest uh, wealth shift that's going to happen in history of mankind, just like the internet happened, right? Uh, it's a revolution going on and it's going to happen. But the way I try to play it is to be positioned. Not necessarily trying to game the system as a stand for a quick buck today. It's a five to ten year play. That's part of the seven rules. But, you know, you have a bunch of these kids looking for ways to make quick money now. Everybody's tracking him now. And that's one of the things I noticed online. One of the things I noticed online is that people are talking and documenting themselves and literally... Um, <laughs> literally like uh, snitching on themselves re not realizing that these things are documented for life i don't care if you hide your videos or you delete your whole channel uh everything is recorded everything is never really deleted if you know anything about technology anything is never really deleted and now you should always play it always be safe how about now maybe play safe is such a for for wealth builders such a scary thing to say to people to have patience how about be safe out here how about that? Yeah. So now everybody's tracking Somewhere him down. Somewhere in South Carolina. Right? So now Trayvon Brown, a.k.a. Trayvon James, somewhere in South Carolina. So to make sure that this is true, I dug further, right? So I went to his Twitter. And on his Twitter, he's got this video. Hey, in the mall. I'm at the mall. Let me turn this shit down. So you can see that there's identifiable things, right? Here's a sleep number store. And there's a J.C. Penny right here. Now, if you look, I went and looked for the malls in Myrtle Beach because that's where he bought his car, at, right? So he bought the car in Myrtle Beach, and we come up with the Coastal Grand Mall. This is the Coastal Grand. Now, if you look at the Coastal Grand, check out the floor pattern, right? This wood is very specific, the way it's, you know, pointing into inward to each other and all that. So if you look on his video... Okay, so chair. this guy is trying it's to track. Same, I don't know if this is the same. Track him down. Same style of room. It's this hotel. And they were deleting comments. So there's because of it. They're they're just as guilty as BitConnect is. And some people I wasn't invested. But I'm just in, well, I recommend. I don't know if they, he's just as guilty as BitConnect is. I'm not sure about that, but. What I can tell you is this, okay, there's a lot of naive young kids in this affiliate marketing game uh, and they jump on uh, anything without paying attention to longevity, um, paying attention to patience, paying attention to, you know, when I say longevity, that's, in this time and age, that means five to ten years from now. I mean, people don't even have a patience for five to ten years. That's ridiculous. But anyway, um, see here, the orders... The others are going mental. Of course, they're mental. They've always been mental, by the way. Dive is at $8. My lending wallet is locked up, too. Oh, well. You just have to sit back and wait this one out. <laughs> yeah, 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 wait till your money disappears completely. Oh, my effing God. This can't be real. I, I, I truly lost all hope in humanity. No, you... See, these things have always existed. <laughs> okay? 
And there are real ways to run a business, to do a business, to build some income. See, the problem with someone like Mike Lingler is something I went through personally, okay? When you've had massive success, it's a very, very difficult thing to have to go back to seek other uh, traditional ways to make money, to feed your family. It can be difficult. And it could be uh, a little bit of ego. It could be a lot of ego, <laughs> right? It could be... Um, um, it could be... Um, you know, it could be just your passion, okay? It could be just passion. It could be anything, but it's very difficult. Uh, but what you need to note and realize that is that comfort zone is never good. Anything you can deem comfort zone is never good for you. So if being an entrepreneur has become a comfort zone for you and, and you just stuck emotionally in that zone and really what you need to do is be always be a solution-oriented person. Solve your problem. Solve the problem with, without the need to gain anything. See, that patient will pay off for a long time. And I'm sorry to put this guy on blast right now. But the truth is, I haven't seen him. I know he was working with Hans Sieg at one point. I don't know if I pronounced that right. And, and Sieg, and Sieg, something like that. They were all part of the whole online. If you know MLSP, if you know any of this platform. I mean, they, they made some really, really good money. Okay, but one thing I expected them to learn that they all preached so much was mindset. Your mindset, you put all of us were subject to our mindset. Okay, and anything can become a comfort zone. Okay, anything can become a comfort zone. Entrepreneurship can become a rat race. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of entrepreneurs coming on the scene that are pretty much it's just a new rat race. Okay, you find yourself moving in circles, you're not getting anywhere, but you cannot you gotta learn how to think outside of your box. That's the key. You got to be a solution-oriented person. And we can still capitalize on market, but you got to know how to leverage everything at your disposal. And that includes sometimes just go back to a job. Go find a job. Do what you got to do. I know it's difficult because I know hands-on is difficult, but you have to do what you got to do to make sure you maintain the integrity of your name because that's really all you got, your name and your relationships. One idea, $1,000 is not all he got. He has his name. That's the biggest thing. And he has his relationships. Now he's going to burn that down right now. Okay, anyway, let me look real quick here. Uh, let's continue because I got to go get this boy some food right now. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mike Klinger. Let's, okay, let me read. Mike Klinger, I had a similar experience with Bitcoin after just one week in and a lot invested. Day two locked down the exchange. See, why would somebody offering you coins be the same as the exchange? That's a red flag too. That's called conflict of interest in a regular world, <laughs> okay? The, the exchange should not be the one offering you the coin. It should be two different entities because that will maintain the integrity of the whole system, right? If they have access to the coin and the exchange at the same time, well, guess what? They can control that stuff, right? They can control it. That's why I tell you right now, if you're an average person, like just not average in terms of performance, but you know you have your other businesses you're working on, but you just want to capitalize on this biggest shift of technology coming, just stick to Coinbase. You don't need to go beyond Coinbase. Just stick to Coinbase, okay? And you don't have to read so much about a coin to find out because you're not looking to pull your money out for five to 10 years, okay? And plus, you're not going to be investing your life savings in it because you're looking to make a quick killer move. Again, you need to go see my rules, okay? I'm actually trying to see if I can edit the rules into here uh, uh, into the screen at the end of the screen because this is this is this is getting this is getting very crazy. All right, let's see here. Uh, okay, all right. So, uh, so how much DAV have you tried to exchange into Bitcoin or sent to external exchange in last week? Uh, Mike Klinger, hey Mike, I follow your channel. It seems they're trying to control the price. See, the idea that you have to control the price, that means it's no more free market. I mean, the whole idea of cryptocurrency should be freedom. <laughs> Hello, free market, right? Why is anybody trying to control the price? But it's about $3.5 as I type this, Jesus, all the way from 160 I think what they're doing to you is wrong. It's evil. Platforms like this shouldn't lock up money in this manner. Not without money anyway. Or at least, or this is Mike Klinger talking now. Or at the very least, send a short email like, we need to work together to ensure the stability of the coin. They don't give a shit about you. 
They don't even know you. I know you from 2009, but they don't know you. <laughs> Please give... These guys don't care. Please give us time to stabilize the price. See, the idea of stabil, stabilizing price is wrong. See, when Coinbase uh, froze the trading of Bitcoin Cash for a few hours, uh, some few weeks ago, it was because of the technology that, you know, the, the, the website itself. Not because they're trying to control the price. The idea of controlling price, if you hear somebody trying to control price or they actually say it out, you should run. Because that negates the idea of a free market. Okay? Um, nah, just avoid scams. Devs are dumping coin. Yep, devs are dumping coin. There you go. Nothing you can do to stop it. It's done. BitConnect just exited, causing people to rethink investments. People pulling out money. Wow. Peter K, why would they reveal their names to run into legal problems with various countries? Shut the fuck up. If they're not revealing their names, that's not the point. The point is that the combination of not revealing your name and locking accounts <laughs> is an extremely bad combination. These lending platforms will do what they want to do. Best strategy is get in on the ICO, then sell enough to make a small profit. Well, that's not a bad idea. If you think an ICO is going to take off, you want to capitalize on it? Sure. But again, I don't have money that doesn't have something to do. So I don't play around like that. I don't have money that belongs in a casino. Uh, they, they, then sell enough to make a small profit and lend some and keep some coins for appreciation. Other strategy is to buy coins if they go down the price and hope for appreciation. Hope. Hope is not a strategy, by the way. Uh, then take some profit and maybe do some lending or staking. Anybody that thinks that thinks this works like a 401k is fooling themselves. Well, DAF does not work like a 401k. I believe Bitcoins, Ethereum, Litecoin, um, Bitcoin Cash can work like a 401k. And if you put money in like a 401k, it won't hurt <laughs> the way it will hurt you when you dump $198,000 into DAF. Okay? That's a speculative shop. Tim Bitcoin... Yeah, my problem is that people would join in too late to lose their money. That's called a pyramid scheme. That's called Ponzi scheme, bro. Because Devil, Devil Coin will eventually disappear. Hello, duh. I don't want to make money on something that will <laughs> over hundreds of hundreds of others that will screw over hundreds of others. Exactly. Like, where's your conscience? Because I see people say, "Oh, yeah, you could make some money from Ponzi scheme." Like, if you know it's a Ponzi scheme. Why would you want to get involved? Like, come on, where's your conscience? Don't you want to sleep at night? This just makes these scammers rich. I'm a member, but haven't put any money, <laughs> dumbass, yet. As BitConnect went down, and, and I lost on that. Oh, he lost money on BitConnect. So I'm just sitting back. You see, you typically see the same people go around the same platforms looking for quick money too. What happens? Etherland is supposed to be cool. Not tried it yet, though. But Etherland, again, have, uh, according to another gentleman's video, one of the best, uh, I think it's crypto news, crypto coin news, the, the channel. And he, he essentially, he, he said, um, let me say, wait, I'm losing my train of thought real quick. Uh, yeah, Etherland has realistic returns on your investment. What's realistic in return on your investment? Personally, for me, without even looking, that means 15%. 15% is aggressive way of, return on your investment for something you're not directly involved in the business. By the way, 20% is good. 30%, oh, I'm involved. I want to help you build the business too, right? That's realistic. Anything above that is craziness and you should run when you see that. Or you should just go start your own business because if you start your own business, even a digital business, you can, you can make 200% return on your investment. Okay, I can show you how to do that. You can follow me on this channel right now. I can show you how to make 1,000% return on your investment if we're running a real business and you're involved in it, okay? But on platforms that claim that it's a mathematics or some machine that's running this whole thing and it's a new technology that just multiply your money, uh, well, from where I'm from, they call that Sogundo Goji. That, that means turn for $20 to $40 and it's always a scam. Why? Because it's not sustainable, <laughs> Okay. You can't keep doing that. There's no value in it, okay? Then, you are stupid. I invested $1,200. Oh, my God. <laughs> this person is being straight up. Then, you are stupid. I invested $1,200 back at the middle of December when price was around 
0.0013 around twenty dollars. Oh, okay, they 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 traded they, they traded I hold and I did five thousand dollars loan. I pulled back around four thousand four point two bitcoins. Uh, I pulled back around four point two bitcoins around forty five thousand. And last few days, same managed to day trade, made two extra bitcoins, and right now I have sixty seven DAV, which I'm holding from daily interest. Unfortunately now can't freely to trade and actually lost some money with that yeah that's what i've been saying if you keep playing this game all the things you said i can tell you're gonna lose money yeah even though you made some five thousand dollars or whatever that is is okay forty five thousand dollars you're gonna lose all that back into the market because human beings are set up to do exactly that okay that's why you gotta create rules for yourself position yourself to win because if you don't position yourself to win, the human part of you will kick in and you're going to lose all your money back into the marketplace. So you guys need to stop acting like God. BCC back in November, when BCC was at its highest versus B Bitcoins. BCC was Big Connect versus Bitcoins. And rest of my Big Connect sold in January when I saw uh, BCCX at $50. So BCCX was another coin they created. So basically, if you're a moron to lend, if you're a moron to lend or to pull out your daily profits in BCC, when those platforms peak in, then you deserve to lose your money. I wouldn't go that far, you know. But I'll let them, I'll let you, dis, dis, if you lost money in this, I'll let you decide if you feel like you deserve to lose your money. I'm not going to say that to you. I do have empathy for you though. Right now, devil is low because morons panicking. No, because the market is acting like market. People are acting like people. When they see fear, they run. They will do everything in their power 10 times more to run from fear than to attract pleasure. That's human beings, okay? So they're not being morons. They're being human, they're being human beings. And they want to run with what they can instead of planning what to do. Anyway. Stupid is as stupid does. Scam lending systems. But anyway, you know, I mean, I think I'm done here. It's been 30 minutes. I'm going to edit this video and put this up. And I think this is great content to warn people against Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, uh, BitConnect, Devore, all those things. Uh, I'm going to do that. There are ways for you to make money, okay? If you didn't have a way of making money before in a regular world, regular market, Holler at me, okay? Go through myempirepro.com and download the free book and then go through my free course, okay? And I'll show you how to do that. Um, if you, That's if you're looking to build a legitimate business. If you want to capitalize on the cryptocurrency uh, blockchain uh, revolution that's coming up, I have a seven rules for doing that. I'm going to try to see if I can edit into this video. If not, I will link below to for you to go look at the rules, right? And uh, I want you to stay safe out there. You know, uh, there are people, there are evil people out here that are, all they do is looking to take your money. And think about it. Somebody who invested $198,000 into something that he knows. I know that this guy knows that this is a scam. I know because I've seen him kick against other platforms in the past. Mike Klingler, yes, I've seen him. You could literally Google him, right? So I know he knows that. But he was willing to put his money behind something that he knows will burn a lot of people in the future. That's sad, okay? I'm not going to call him evil, but I want you to know that there are people making moves out here. And the goal is to take your money away from you, okay? So, and I want to help. If I can help in any way to help you avoid that, you want to build a real business, uh, you have some money to invest, you know, there, there are ways to do that the right way with some patience. It is five to ten years play. Five to ten years is not a long time, okay? It's not a long time. It's going to come very quick if you lose your money. So why not just do it the right way, okay? Patience, lots of patience. You know, that's one thing I'm going to give Gary Vaynerchuk a lot of thumbs up for. He preaches a lot of patience. It was my time. When you don't have money, you give your time. That was my patience. That was my giving back. He preaches also, which I'm against, but he preaches patience, which is, I think he's trying to, if you put things in context, he's trying to say the same thing. So I tell you, just work hard and be patient, okay? But of course, have some strategy, all right? Um, but yeah, that was, that was a lot.